Hello and welcome to the Urban Anarchist's Kitchen. Today we're doing popcorn right out of the garden. We've got an ear of popcorn right here. This we grew in our garden last year and should be ready to go for popping. This is Japanese hullless popcorn, which me and my wife both love so much. But we're going to pop some of this up. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take some of this off of this, whoa, off of this cob. Popcorn's going everywhere. We need to get about a quarter cup. We have a little measuring cup right here. We need to get a quarter cup of popcorn. So I'm just shucking this popcorn real quick. We'll see if we can get a quarter cup of it. Now, when we have lots and lots of cobs to shuck, we do have a corn shucker that we use. Um, it's a lot better than doing it by hand, but for this one batch of popcorn we're going to run today, we're going to do just by hand, get it all off here. So it looks like this one small cob is going to give us just about a quarter cup. We've got it just about ready to roll. And yeah, I broke the cob in half, but that's okay. Take some of the cob <laughs> that fell in there out. And that gives us just about an exact quarter cup. So we're popping today in our R2-D2 popcorn popper. We're going to need about one tablespoon. And today we're using Real Theater Popcorn Coconut Oil from Wabash Valley Farms. Um, this kind of gives you the real taste of like what you get when you go to a theater. So we're going to put that into our R2-D2 popcorn popper. Coconut oil gives the popcorn a really wonderful taste. And this has got a little bit of a butter flavor to it as well. We're also going to put in just a little bit of this pick a flavor ballpark style popcorn salt. So let's put just a little bit of this in there as well. I'm going to say half a teaspoon or so. If you get too carried away with that, it can really get very salty. Put in our popcorn. And we're going to take our R2-D2 top and put it down on there. And then we'll bring you back in just a minute once it starts to pop. Okay, so our popping has been going and it's just about all popped, I think. So we're going to turn her over. Turn it off. Pop the top off of it. And there is our fresh popcorn right out of the garden. Popped in an R2-D2 corn popper. Mmm, -hmm. that's really good.